I would say mine is sort of not that similar, but I went, kind of went through the same thing. My second year in the league, I was projected starter, broke my forearm in the first preseason game, um, didn't think I was going to play until week three or four. I begged the training staff to allow me to, you know, they wrapped it up. They had the surgery. I missed the rest of the preseason games. I begged them to just allow me to practice, just go through practice, right? I went to every meeting. Now, I didn't miss a meeting. Even then when they were telling me, hey, you need to go to rehab. Mm-hmm. You can't go to the meetings. I was like, no, I'll rehab early on, and I'll go to the meetings. I made every meeting. I begged them to have me, to dress me out the first game. I practiced every day, man. I begged them to dress me out the first game against the Washington Redskins. Mm-hmm. They dressed me out. We're in Washington. I wasn't the starter mm-hmm. uh, because of the injury. And halfway through the first drive of the game, safety goes down. And I remember Dave Campbell looking at me, and I had this big-ass wrap around my arm. Dressed out now. He looked at me. Looked for Kenny Gant, the other backup safety, and he's like, Gant, Gant. And I remember Jimmy Johnson walk up going, uh-uh, go. And I walked out there and played the rest of the game. Big cast on my arm, swinging this big club around, and blah, blah. I played the rest of the season with a club on. But it was the opportunity to have one of my best games. Didn't two, there's, miss a beat. There's, there's two things. There's two things about it. And I think there's two ways of taking advantage of opportunity. They're really important is yes, you've got to take advantage. You've got to answer the call when the opportunity's mm-hmm. there. But the biggest thing with Darren's story and part, partly mine and, and partly this Milton kid's story is you take advantage of opportunity for a long time leading up to that opportunity, yeah, I just, right? I was just going to say is, mm-hmm. It's about doing the work. People trusting you, like you yeah. said, like knowing that, okay, hey, he is prepared. So it's not a like, hey, I'm just going to sit back and I'm going to sit back. And then when I get that opportunity, I'm ready to go. I'm right. going to take it. No, no, no. Taking advantage of, a, of the opportunity is building relationships, building trust, building experience, mm-hmm. all of those things that lead up to it. Jimmy knew. He looked over and says, uh-uh, he's my guy. Mm-hmm. Because he's the guy that was in meetings when he shouldn't have been. Yeah. He's the guy that was out at practice when he shouldn't have been. He's the guy that I know is going to go out on that field and die for this team. That's the guy that I want. Right. So, yes, you played well when you went out there. Mm-hmm. That's part of it, right. right? But taking advantage of the opportunity. When he goes down, you took advantage of it the prior four weeks. Right, right. Because he knew that, okay, something happens. It hits the fan. Who's the guy I can trust? It's Darren Woodson. Yeah. That's who it is. Yeah. 